So welcome back to Embedded Systems 2. And in this very short video, I'm going to look at how we can connect a standard liquid crystal display to a PIC microcontroller. Now, the standard liquid crystal display is the LM016L and a 16x2 liquid crystal display. Now, this actually comes as a pre-made printed circuit board. And what you have to do is you have to connect the following pins on this liquid crystal display printed circuit board. Pins 11, 12, 13, 14, 4 and 6. I need to connect them to port B of your PIC microcontroller, of your PIC 16F84 microcontroller. So I'm going to use pins 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. And I'm going to wire them to pins 11, 12, 13, 14, 4 and 6 of the liquid crystal display. So the port B register is going to be used to send data out to the liquid crystal display and that data is going to come up on the liquid crystal display so for example at the moment i've got a message coming up on this liquid crystal display it says temperature is 21 point uh, 21 uh, degrees celsius so that's a message that you can print up on the liquid crystal display now what's interesting about this is you don't have to build anything at all this is a pre-built printed circuit board this uh, liquid crystal display and there's a cable that we use to connect the port b so all of this is automatically done for us but that's the internal wiring and i've drawn that using the data sheet for the liquid crystal display and for uh, the e-block system to, uh, to actually develop this so luckily for us we don't actually have to wire anything up here at all it's all pre-built for us but that's how it's actually done you can see we're just using port b Inside in the PIC microcontroller, we've got the TRIS-B register. There's eight logic zeros in the TRIS-B register, meaning port B is an output port. And we're going to put data in here, into this port B register, and that data is going to be sent to the liquid crystal display, and then messages will come up on the liquid crystal display. We'll run a simulation in Proteus, showing you how this works, and we'll also get this working in lab as well. Okay, thanks for listening, folks.